Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumptions that, other know, that others know what we think, and we don't have to say what we want, we assume that they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't, if they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and we think, how could that, how could you do that? You should know better. Don't assume, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 277, Nasdaq's up 47, S&P's up 18. Gold, gold contract down $3.50 straight at 1842 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $20.99 an ounce, light sweet crude up 32 cents, $78, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading down 15 ticks at 110.16, the 30 year off a full point plus two ticks at 123.02, and King Dollar. King Dollar's trading out up 561, 105.043. The Euro is trading. At a price point of uh, 105, the yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. Let's bring the futures up here. You had the nice pop. You know, we have window dressing, but the bottom line, the pop came in. When Boss Tech of the Atlanta Fed come out and said, hey, we might pause in the summer. Yeah. And that checks in the mail, too. We'll see where this goes, though. That's the bottom line. It doesn't matter, you know, what uh, is going on out here inside the marketplace. It gave it a pop. The S&Ps went from uh, 3948 up to 3980. And now we'll see uh, how this can handle the uh, price right now. So if we bring this back, let me just bring this, let's see. So I'll bring it back a few days and let me see where we are in the retracement here. Okay, so you actually haven't even made the high of yesterday. That's interesting. Okay, hey, we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close. We look at the NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs. We take a look at the NQs, what you have. NQs are up $66. Now what's gonna get intriguing here, folks, is this. If this market does not hold today, this is going to be another indication of just how tough a market this is right now, meaning the bear, okay? Because I've seen this plenty of times that you can, you know, you, you get these bounces. You know, granted, in this particular case, because we've gone down for so long, I mean, it should have a bounce, okay? But that being said, uh, the deviant part in a monster way would be that you give it up on price coming into the close, you know, because we've been down on price, uh, let's see, since uh, every trading day since the 14th. We went sideways, uh, well, you, you popped you popped once and didn't hold it. So, you know, bottom line, you, 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 you're coming into some action here. Yesterday, you didn't get the volume. We took the B point out, and the, but that was a light volume. Well, it, was, it wasn't that light. Inside the spot, it was 9,900, 99,000. 99 million versus 108. And, you know, we'll see where this shakes out and it, coming into the close. And then if we go into the Qs, what do you have with the Qs? You have basically kind of the same type of deal. The, the Qs yesterday didn't have the volume. Now, what's going to be intriguing with the Qs today, if the Qs get more than 50, uh, 74 million, which they, yeah, I don't think they're going to. But it, if they get more than 56, what that lines up is that that gives you another uh, lower low with volume, and that's saying it's going to go down there. And I do expect that you're going to get that uh, because we're already at 42. We're going to take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Oh, one second. You don't have the charts. You should have the charts. Let's, let me do this again. One second. There we go. Uh, some of the high volume equities out here. Tesla had their, you know, uh, talk yesterday, four o'clock in the afternoon. Market saying they shook it off, down 13 points. You have uh, Advanced Micros up 225. You get Salesforce up 1950. That was the big one. Nvidia's up uh, five dollars and 56 cents. We have, uh, let's see, Macy's is up 238. 
inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Well, there we go. NDX, the strength versus the weakness inside the uh, NDX 100. You get Dexcom up uh, seven and a half percent. You get Zoom. Uh, no, oh, Z Scaler. Z Scaler is up four, four and a half percent. Aluminum is up four. Taken away from it. Tesla's down six and a half percent. Micron's down two and a half percent. Lucent's down one and a half percent. And Bi Biogen is down one percent. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, big leader. We know the big leader. Uh, bottom line is going to be uh, Salesforce. But, but point wise, we'll see where it is too. Percentage is definitely so as Salesforce. Point wise, also Salesforce. Salesforce is putting 129 positive points into it. Mike, Big Mac putting 33, Microsoft 25, United Health 23. Taken away from it. You got uh, JP Morgan minus 10, Travels minus 8, Amgen minus 8. No big deal there, that's for sure. That is for sure. And uh, let's see, I think AMD, is AMD, let me look at this. Is AMD coming out? Nope, uh, uh, maybe it's Micron, one second. No, not like right now. Some of the, we'll take a look at some of the big dogs out here. We take a look at Amazon first. Uh, Amazon right now, flat market, down 81 cents. Notes and bonds, this is where we want to go. Notes and bonds, man, forget it. It's just, you know, you know it's amazing. As Tom was talking about this this morning, you can just go on a two-year, um, and the two years, bottom line, paying 5%, folks, okay? And we just took another leg down here. So... I'm gonna put this on a continuous. Okay, so get this on a continuous contract. Pull this back. Yep, I don't have to pull it back actually. So you break in, you're into the lower, you know, we're at 110, we hit 110, 109.31. 109.10 is your next swing, and then the, your, your low period is 108.26. And if we take a look at, you know, that 108.26, just to give you an idea, that 108.26, I believe would be about 4.24 on the uh, yield. That's how that baby kind of shakes out. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Fred Ernest, coming up, the CEO of Vista Gold, getting us an update on the Mount Todd project. To recap out here, we have the Dow Industrials up 309, NASDAQ is up 59, S&P is up 22. We'll come right back.